Hi everybody, it's Scott and Joe. Say hi, Joe. Hi, Joe. Hey, my good friend Joe is here today to help me out with another card trick. I hope to amaze Joe. I call this trick telepathy, Joe. Because it's going to require our minds meeting to get the answers. I know yeah, it's always impossible. That's a tall task. That's a tall task because we both don't have any brains. brains. But we're going to try and use our brain. We need, I need, this deck is just going to be for my reveal. I'm going to keep these cards off to the side. But we're going to start with a, an ordinary deck of bicycle playing cards, okay? And we're going to get rid of the jokers because we don't need the jokers because they ain't funny. <laughs> Joe, this trick telepathy is an unbelievable trick because people have been trying to figure out how to do this trick for years. Even I don't know how to do the trick. But hopefully today we'll be able to, to do the trick. So what I'm going to do to start off the trick is I'm going to make a pile Okay, of five cards, okay? And I'm gonna put five, four more cards in each one, making a pile of 25 all together. So there's four, all right, and there's five. Okay, 25 random cards. We don't even need the rest of the deck. I'm gonna get rid of it for now, okay? I'm gonna mix up all of these, okay? You could do it, but I'm doing it to save time. And none of us knows any of these cards at this point in time. There's no way to know what these cards are. Even Joe doesn't know. Now in front of Joe, I gave him a piece of paper. But inside the paper, I want everyone to see very clearly what I wrote. I wrote choice, and I numbered one through five. And it's going to become very clear what that means, okay? Because in a minute, I'm going to hold five cards up for Joe, and he's going to look at these five cards and pick one in his brain without telling me, but he's just going to write it down on this piece of paper. And then we're going to do the same thing with two, three, four, and five. And he's going to fold it up every time and keep his hands on it so I can't see what he wrote. So right now I am going to open it up for you and I'm going to give you the magic Sharpie marker. Okay? And when I tell you, not yet, and remember to close it up after you're done. We mixed up these cards. I don't want to even hold them up because I don't want to see them. You don't want to see them. No one wants to see them. But for the first time, I'm going to hold up, don't do anything yet, because I don't want, I want to close my, you can see all five cards? Yes. I want you to write down any one of the five cards down. You can abbreviate like uh, three of clubs, you can write three of C, something like that. Yeah. Tell me, then close up the paper, tell me when you did it. I did it. Very good job. That was your first choice. Now I'm going to hold up the second group of cards, which he's going to be seeing for the first time. I have no idea what they are let alone knowing what card he's going to write down on his right. piece of okay. paper. Tell me when you did it. Okay. Okay, here's the third group of cards. Turning my head away. There's no way I could know what he's going to be writing down. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Just tell me when yeah. you did it. Okay. Now I'm going to hold up the fourth group of cards. Okay. And you're going to write down any one of these cards. Okay, just tell me when you did it. Blah, 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 okay. blah, blah. And finally, the fifth the fifth uh, group of cards, Joe is going to see them for the very, very first time. All five cards, write down any card that you want to close it. the paper right. and make sure your hands are on top so I don't see it. Are uh, your hands on top? Yeah. Very good. I'm opening my eyes now. Now, Joe, I want you to point to any one of these piles. Okay. Tell me where to place this pile on top of here. Now tell me where to place it. Now tell me where to place it. And now tell me where to place it. Okay. Now. I'm putting a card down in the middle. Tell me which side of this pile to put the next card. To the left, to the right. And where should I put the next one? We have to make a row of five. Where should I put the next one and the next one over here? Okay, so now we have all five cards. Where should I put the next one? On top of what? Okay, what about the next one? Okay, what about the next one? And the next one, now we have two rows. Now where should I put the next card? All this is doing is showing that independently we're mixing up these cards so that they're not following any set order and that they're being mixed up, and not by me, but they're being mixed up by my friend Joe. Okay? So I have no idea where these cards are going and where he's going to put them and what's going to happen to them so that they're thoroughly mixed up. Now again, like we did before, point to any of the piles. We'll pick that one up first, point to another pile. Very good, give me a chance, give me a chance. And this is the third pile, and the fourth pile, and finally the fifth pile. Now for the final part of the trip before I start to do my reveal, I just want you to cut the deck, put half the deck over there, and take the rest of the deck and put it up. 
Very good job. Now let's recapture so far what has happened, okay? We shuffled a deck of cards up. At least I think I did it a couple of times, I don't remember. And then we mixed the cards up too. And we made a row of five, right, Jeff? 25 cards. And then we shuffled those up. And then I held up five cards and Joe wrote down his choice of what he wanted to pick without me knowing even what the, any of the 25 cards were to begin with. And he did that five times. Then I wanted Joe to pick up the cards, the piles in any order he wanted to pick them up and to lay them back on the table in any order he wanted to pick, lay them down. Then I, he picked them up in any order he wanted to pick them up again and finally he cut the deck in half. Those cards are thoroughly mixed. Would you say, Joe, that that there's good. no possible way I can even know? So now I'm going to reveal the cards for the first time. And I'm going to make a row of five. This being row number one. Okay, I want to do it so that the camera is picking up the cards. This is going to be called row number one. There's five cards. This is going to be called row number two. This is going to be row number three. How many cards is that? Okay. And this is going to be row number four. And we'll squish in row number five right over here. So now for the first time ever, all 20, 25 cards are being revealed to me. But by Joe doing what he's going to do, I'm going to make my predictions using another, another deck of bicycle playing cards, just taking out the jokers, of what I think his choices were. I know it sounds incredible, but I'm going to attempt to do it. So Joe, right now, I want you to look, as I close my eyes, at your very first choice. Just get it in your head and then close the paper. Tell me when you did it. You have that first card in your head? It should take yeah, one second to do it. All right, you close it back up. Joe, is that card, listen to me, in row one, row two, row three, row four, or row five? Row two. Row two. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through these cards and take out the corresponding card that I think is Joe's first choice. Okay, Joe, take a look at your second card. Unless you know it, if you memorize it, that's different. Yeah, I have is it. your second card in row one, in row two, let me finish, row three, row four, or row five? Row five. Row five. All right, so I'm going to take out what I think is his second choice out of these cards. Okay, that would be number two. Joe, your third choice, did you memorize it or do you have, do you yeah. have to look at it again? I know. Okay, is it in row one? Is it in row two? Is it in row three? Is it in row four or is it in row five? Row four. Row four. Okay, so I'm going to pick out what I think it is and I'm going to put it down. And finally, Joe, uh, what is it? What are we up to? Oh, your fourth choice. Is it in row one? Is it in row two? Is it in row three? Is it in row four? Or is it in row five? Two. In row two. Okay, so I'm going to do what I think it is. Okay, and finally row five. What, I mean, uh, yeah, your fifth choice. What, uh, what, uh, what row is it in? One, two, three, four, or five? Three. You sure it's in row three? Okay. Okay. Joe, for the first time, I want you to tell the audience, you can look at your paper now, okay? Show everyone and tell everyone, what was your very first choice? The Ace of Clubs. I think there's so many. Oh. The Ace of Clubs. So is it the door? What was your second choice, Joe? King of Clubs. King of Clubs. What was your third choice? Ace of Diamonds. Ace of Diamonds. What was your fourth choice? Ten of Hearts. Ten of Hearts. And what was your fifth choice? Ace of Spades. Ace of Spades. Thank you. Was that unbelievable? Someone's knocking at my door. I gotta go let him in. That was unbelievable. Come in.